Hello, my name is Heather. I'm an oil painter and a mixed media artist. Today I'm going to be working on a mixed media piece and I'm going to take you from start to finish on this piece. And here is the piece that we're going to be working on today. So let's get right to it. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is I have a 12 by 12 MDF board and you're just going to lay down some different types of papers. and I'm using Mod Podge glue to lay my papers down. Okay, you want this layer to be completely dry before you start the next layer. So now I have some gray acrylic paint. I also have some matte medium and I'm just going to do kind of like a little glaze. I'm also going to add a little white paint, so I'm going to do some gray and some white. Then I'm getting a piece of copy paper and I'm just laying it over the top and then I'm just pulling it up. I'm pulling that paint up and it creates different little marks in the piece which gives it a cool effect. I'm going to add more white with the matte medium and I'm just doing that sporadically all over the piece. Thank you. 
Then I'm laying down a piece of copy paper and I'm pulling it up. Then you want this layer to be completely dry. Then I got some burnt umber and I'm gonna go around the edges with a little matte medium and burnt umber. And then I'm just taking a paper towel and kind of smudging around. And then another really cool effect is to spray water on it and then just kind of dab your paper towel and that gives you some cool little funky little impressions. So I'm doing a second coat. Now I'm spraying water over it and I'm just dabbing and see how it kind of picks up the paint and leaves like a funky little design in there. It's a cool little trick. So the next step is I'm adding a gray glaze with the matte medium just in the middle and then I'm going to pull that up with paper. Then I'm adding a little white and I'm doing all different types of brush strokes. Then I'm laying a piece of copy paper down and I'm pulling it up. I'll lay that paper towel down to get some of that paper towel design on there, which is cool. Then you want that layer to be dry. Then I got some blue acrylic paint with some matte medium, and I'm going to do a little blue glaze around the piece. And then I'm spraying some water. And 
And then I'm going to take a paper towel and just lift. And that's just creating some interesting little marks. Then you want that layer to be dry. Then I'm getting some yellow. Mixed media is all about layers. And then I'm doing um, a little bit of matte medium with yellow paint kind of in the middle. And then I'm laying a paper towel down and then I'm going to rip that up. And that will leave the design of the paper towel in the piece, which is cool. And then I wanted to add a little bit of purple. So I'm doing exactly the same thing with matte medium and some purple paint, purple and white paint. And it's still light enough, you can still see some of the papers behind, which is really cool. I'm taking a piece of copy paper and just pulling some of that paint up. Okay, so the next step is to put your focal points down and I am just putting some Mod Podge down in the areas that I'm going to put my focal points. I have this flower. And then I'm doing a coat of Mod Podge on top of the flower. And then I have this bird and I'm going to stick the bird on there and I'm using Mod Podge uh, on the top as well.
Okay, and then I have this beautiful butterfly and I'm gonna put that down with some Mod Podge. A layer on the bottom and a layer on the top. Okay, and then you want that to be completely dry. And then I'm gonna put a little um, saying down and you can use stamps for this. You can use any type of lettering that you want. And my little saying says, may you always be brave enough to fly. Then I'm doing a coat of Mod Podge on top of that, and then you want that to fully dry. Okay, then the next step is, is I have my stipolo and I'm going to go around all of my focal points and do some shading. One of the cool things with the stipolo is that you can add water and it will move that around. So it's really, and if you mess up, you can take some water and just wipe it off and it's no problem.
Then I'm going to take my stipolo and go all around the entire piece. Then the next step is I got some gesso and it's watered down and I'm going to add some splatters just to add some interest in different places. Then the next step is to spray some Spectrafix down, and that is it. I hope this video has inspired you to create a mixed media piece. There will be a supply list and Amazon links in the description box. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will for future art videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!